Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me Pierre Farrugio and Angelo Caruana. Um, today we are in Randy and if we go back to 1941, we are visiting exactly in the middle of an uh, RAF airfield. And uh, today we are not going to visit the airfield because the airfield actual strips. It's, it's they, were, they are in tarmac and they are actual it's roads. Exactly. But we are going to visit the underground base. So, what do you think, Angelo? Yes, we can go here. Let's go. There's the stairs here. Yeah. Now we're getting inside there. There's this iron gate here. And we find some steps because since this was underground, we have to go down. This is very similar to the bases we did in Ben Isa and we did in uh, Dingli. We can see around the side. And you, still there is, there are the cables. And uh, there's a groove in the wall where they used to pass. Plus, we have these brackets here, near Angelo, show them Angelo. The brackets where cables used to pass, so uh, let's continue down. It's a little bit treacherous, is this? Is this? What we found here, Ange? Yes, there seems to be either, I think it's an escape. Let me, let me, go to check, go to check. Yeah. Let's go. Here continues down, and we are going to check this part here. We are going up, and as you can imagine, these places, you will find multiple entrances. Just so if it has been bombarded, one have multiple escape routes. Uh, this one is not a stairs, but one will have used this metal ladder uh, to go up. Uh, nice. Yes. We are yes, three meters, four meters. The steps are very, very steep. I will let Angelo go down. So you will have a perspective how deep this tunnel is. Uh, it's still going down. It's about four meters deep, six, I think could be nine meters down, so. Uh, so, you know, down is at the bottom of this stairs. Now, if I look here, is the secondary uh, exit or entrance, and here, where we came from, which is our six to nine meters up. So let's start going down myself. But I may remind you that uh, people who wish to come here, uh, we had to get uh, exclusive permission from the owner of this area, and uh, he granted us permission to come here. So don't try to trespass in this area because you will get in trouble for sure. And now I am at the bottom of the stairs as well. And here we start seeing, we have here, let me show you this corridor, how big it is. You see how long it is, or I will show you later. And here, we have more. Seems areas. to be a generator room here. What we have here, Ange? Yeah, it seems to be a generator room here. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's exactly like Dingley, Ara. Yeah, it's like the, the Dingley one, as you said, and there are these. Ara, here we have the, the switch gears, Ara. And fuses, those were the fuses, Ara. Some switch gear, what remains. Here we can find, like the Dingley, exactly the bases, Ara. For, yes, for the generators. We can see some ducting, most probably for the water. Uh, the the studs are for the generator. And then, if we go and see this side that are here, most probably here, like the other side, they were the exhaust and cooling of this area. Please. Now we are in one of the ducts of the extraction, and we go to see what we can find here. And if we look here, that's from the other side. And if we look up, because it's very tight, here, there's the ventilation shaft there. And this is the other side of the ventilation shaft. So let's start going out again, because it's a little bit tight. And let's see what we have here, Angel. There's something here. Just the metal. Part. Let's go out. and I try not to fall. Okay, and show me the way outside, please. 
Well, look, it was big, yeah? And as we see, we have walls that are built, most probably either for blast or for humidity, to stop humidity. But the, the roof is made from raw rock. Okay, Ange? I'm still Take continuing. Care. Take care. Uh -huh. There's a grater for the water. Boom. Well, what we have here? We have steel beams on top are holding the roof, which are stone, which we mold this we call shorok. And here, if we go this way, we will find another ventilation shaft that goes up. And this is what I was explaining before, that this is the, the rock and this is the masonry wall. And uh, you have some space in between. Well, let's continue on. May I remind you that here, it started in 1941, and if I'm not mistaken, it was even used as a decoy base. They switch it on, so if they had to fire, they fire on this area here, and not the, the other uh, airstrips. A lot of rooms are we still continuing here. There are empty rooms. Are. These are the it's, uh, doors. More rooms. Anch, continue in front so they can see the length of this area. Look at the corridor, how big it is. If you see Angelo, he's very far away and he's in the middle of the corridor. More rooms, sir. Yeah? Yes, yes. More rooms, sir. Can see Angelo there? We are still moving into the corridor. Here are some of the rooms huh? we have here. You see, this one is even connected from one room to the other. And here, if we continue this, this side, like this, let me show you. We are still moving in the corridors there. I'll give you more light, so you see better. More rooms are with steel beams and the, uh, with chorok on top. Look at this door. Uh. This, there were small rooms, maybe stores, or maybe even to house the personnel here. They still have this particular color of the wood. Uh. This is metal. Uh. This is the color of the wood. It's like green. Old switch girl. More rooms here. How long it is this area? Another room. Then if we pass from here to the other side, we that's where we started, where we gone down the stairs. So we continue from here. It's a big room. I think it's a big, big problem. Look. Yeah. Here are this uh, as I told you, these are the shore car, look. These stone slabs between the steel beams, as you can see here, are the shorok. You can see them here, this is intact. And this is when they gave way, and they fall all on the ground. We're going to pass in the middle, because the middle is solid rock. We have another gate here, Angelos. Holding two, or? and we have a small tunnel. Is going to check. Or? Look, this is the how the they used to build. Or? This is the the rock ceiling. Then on top, there's the there's there's the beams and the shore rock or the stone slabs that support on the beams. Or? And now we're going to go inside here. So let's check this area. Well, give me the camera, and we start. 
checking this area out. Huh? It's very low. Let's yeah. start going in. It's very low. Huh? One has to go on his knees here. My bag is rubbing to the to the ceiling. But we are nearly there. And here we already can start feeling fresh air. And here, look. If you look up, there is a ventilation shaft that goes all the way up. And we have to go again after. Well, as I remind you every time, this place is remind me that I'm getting old. I'm because you have to look very low, eh? you have to walk. Uh, here we have some ceramic as well. Some broken white plain ceramic. Maybe it was from World War II, who knows? Let's continue. Look, most probably this one could have been a teacup, which those are of English personnel, like tea, yeah? English. So let's continue also. What do you think, Anch? It's beautiful here. Eh? Yeah? You did a very good find here. Eh? Well, now, we're going to pass. There's this gate here, and we continue. This is the gap that I told you before. The masonry wall and the rock. We are passing from here. The uh -huh. Yes, you can feel it, and it looks round there. Another ventilation shaft inside there, which is not worth it to go in. And here, we're going to move in here and here. Doesn't give us so secrets this one or because we have transformer area. And this for sure it was the transformer. Remind me that this was the built in 1941. I think inaugurated in 41 and used as an airfield. In 42. You see? How nice it is. What we have here, Ange? Look what we have here. Uh, a very old telephone. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, pull the plastic, please. Out. Some of the equipment here, we have a deck here, but it's stuck, you see, like meters, eh? most probably this, where hand is to switch on and off, a plate, but this, directional relay, over current, directional relay, feeder protection relay. Some switch gear equipment and protection. Eh? Here are some more equipment. Most probably all switch gear here. Look. This what I assume like, like switch gear that you can grab punch and switch on. Or maybe from here you switch on and off. I don't know because this is very old equipment here. But it's fascinating. Eh? Here we have some more equipment. Eh? And here we have some decorated uh, uh, multi styles. Uh, how nice they there. Then, if we go to this side, uh, there is another escape uh, or entrance or exit, which we'll not go for now. Yeah, here you can see the tiles. Uh, and I'm going to go in and show you this one. Angela will come start moving on this side. so. You can start looking how long it is this corridor. Some switch gear as well. 
Let me show you better. It's amazing, yeah? And here, uh, we start going this corridor. Uh, it had a duct on the side, like many places we visit for the water. And we can see Angelo uh, in front of me. More switch gear. Uh. And here we start going into the room, Sarah. Like on the other side, Sarah. We have another, most probably, transformer. You see? Now let's continue here. Uh, a very old switch. We can continue on this side. Uh. Here we have another bigger room uh, with uh, some kind of uh, masonry table. And here most of these are the hooks, uh, like we saw before, uh, for the wires and cables. Remind you, there's Angelo in front of me. More small rooms. These are like the other side. Uh. There's some old wire uh, here. Huh. Huh. You know what's this? this uh, no, I'm the Seeing it, this one is lead, lead covered wire. Yeah, okay. Could be that, I'm not sure, but lead could be to isolate interference to equipment. But I'm not 100% sure, or maybe the old wire used to be this, this type, era, but it's lead era. Because I saw before, and that one was plastic. More rooms, huh? We have the word here, lub, most probably lubricant, some kind of uh, oils. This switcher has seen better days. Uh -huh. Here we have another room. Look what we have here, Ange. Shell cases. Could be these from World War II. And here, here, we have reached the, where we started. So now we will walk all the way back. You can see Angelo in front of me, how far away he is, because this corridor is very long. I assume it's about 50 meters or so. But it's very interesting, yeah, this area. And now, I think we're nearly ready, Angelo. We have, what we have, the, the only problem now, going up the stairs, eh? Yes, and well, I start going up on, so they can see a little bit oh, this here. It's very steep. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Well, uh, now uh, comes the part, as usual, when you hear me puffing. So let's start going up. <coughs> After the war, uh, here, it was used as a trekking station and uh, as a vehicle park. As you can see, we are many meters underground. We are still going up. Uh, it's an amazing place. It's not worth it if I fall down. No, I have to walk it all the way up. So I will take a lot of care. You know me now, you know. Well, still going up. Well, I'm sorry if I'm still puffing a little bit, but these stairs, I can assure you, they are very hard. Uh, I have to thank uh, Angelo Bilocca at San Niclo Farm, who gave us permission to come explore and document this area. Remember, here you cannot just trespass and come in here, because you have to ask for permission. It was me, Pier Farrugia, and Angelo Caruana. Until next time, bye-bye. Uh-uh.